what are the weirdest things about living in Phoenix? I had coffee with one of my clients the other day and they said, if I could go back in time, here are some of the strangest things that you Phoenicians do that people in other part of the country think are so weird. Okay, weird thing number one, and I think I've talked about this in other videos, but when it rains, we all freak out, okay? Every channel, every newscaster, every station, it could be literally like a quarter of an inch of rain, which for us is a lot. Entire newscast is about the rain. We're outside, we're at crosswalks, they're interviewing everyone. How do they feel about the weather? It's just insane because we don't really get it all that often. So. We do first alert weather days when it's literally like sprinkling out, taking videos, splashing in puddles. All our social media is covered with rain coverage. And it's just something that people from other states think we're really weird for. But yes, weird thing number one, we make a huge deal out of it when it rains. Okay. Weird thing number two that apparently people from other states think it's very weird when they moved out to Phoenix. And that is... We always have drinks in our hands, in our cars, in our purses. We don't go anywhere without liquid. I don't even go into my office without having a big jug of water. Now it is 113 today, so that's a little bit different, but I will say growing up here, it was definitely hammered into my head, never go anywhere without a bottle of water. I will say one of the biggest things out here is visitors getting rescued off our mountains. And I know I've said this in other videos, and it's because we have a dry heat and dry weather. So people don't realize that you get dehydrated a lot quicker because you don't always feel like you're sweating. So that is something you will see if you're moving out here that we are constantly walking around with drinks in our hands. I'm Andrea Sheppy, a Phoenix native and a full-time realtor out here in Phoenix. Reach out to me anytime for your real estate or relocating to Phoenix needs. And uh, let's jump back into those weird things about Phoenicians and living in Phoenix. Number three, we have a place called Water and Ice. I am sure they're around other parts of the nation, but I guess not as popular as I thought. But a few of my recent uh, people that have relocated here have been like, what are these Water and Ice stores? Well, Water and Ice stores are exactly what they sound like. Okay, we have very hard water out here. You can drink it, it's totally fine. But you go and you fill up your big jugs of water at the water and ice store. But the main thing that we all like to get there is actually the thrifty ice cream. So we don't really go there for water or for ice per se. We go for the ice cream. But yes, literally on every corner, there's a water and ice store. And I guess from other states, it's just not something you guys have. But water and ice, you know, big deal out here in the desert. Okay, so the next weird thing about living in Phoenix that people from other states think we're really strange is that the way we talk about weather, you know, so today it's 113, right? It's going to be like 105 on Monday. So here I am talking to my family and we're like, oh my gosh, it's going to cool down to 105 Monday. That's really nice. I'll be able to do my morning hike or take my dog for a walk. And people who have just moved here are like, did you just say cool down to 105? Yes. When it's this summer and we have below 110, we're like, all right, yeah, it's cooling down next week, 108, that's nothing. So just know you will acclimate, you will get used to it. But when you hear us discussing a cool down, it is typically still over 100 degrees. Okay, another weird thing is you'll go to the grocery store, you'll go to a movie theater, and you'll see people walking all the way across the parking lot. And you're kind of like, why are they walking so far? There's a ton of parking, you know, close to the door. Well, they went and parked in a shaded parking spot. So people don't quite understand if they haven't been here through a whole summer, but we fight and we will drive for that shaded parking spot, especially if it's during the day, because it makes such a difference when you get back into your car a couple hours later. So I had friends visit and be like, why are you parking way over here? Well, yes, that is why, because I know when we get out, parking in the shade will have made such a big difference. Once you go through a summer out here, I guarantee you we'll be fighting for a covered parking spot as well. Okay, the next thing that's really kind of funny and weird and silly about Phoenicians or living in Phoenix is that we have summer sweaters, okay? So like I went to Costco yesterday, I brought a cardigan, I tied around my waist, because when you go inside, anywhere here in the summer, it is so, so cold. Movie theaters, restaurants, grocery shopping, especially if you're in an office setting, you go to the doctor, it's freezing. 
So we carry them everywhere. You'll see them in our car. It'll be very confusing when it's 1.15 out and you get in your friend's car and you're like, why is there a sweater back there? Something you'll want to get used to. Uh, just another weird thing about living here. Okay, you guys, one of the last weird things that some of my recent clients that moved here think Phoenicians are so weird for, and it has to do with the rain again, and it is, it is the smell after rains, okay? So it smells so good, and a lot of our plants and bushes do release, and they help that really earthy, wonderful smell, but the main thing is actually coming from a bacteria found in the soil that is releasing its spores, and that is where that main smell comes from. Um, so it is kind of a weird thing. And when people find that out, they think it's kind of gross, but it smells really wonderful. You will absolutely love our monsoon seasons. Whether or not you love the smell of bacteria, you will enjoy the weather out here during month. Okay, you guys, another really weird thing that Phoenicians do is we all actually have many umbrellas, but none of us either A, know where they are, B, we never use them. Even if it's pouring, we're so not used to using them that we're just like, eh, and we'll run to our car. Or C, we use them all the time, but only for sun. So you'll see people out at a, a ball game or you'll see them out at the park and they'll have their umbrella, but to block the sun or by the pool. I actually found two in the very back shoved in the trunk of my car a while ago. And I thought, oh, there they are. Those would have been useful. You know, we actually had a really rainy winter this year, but anyhow, so very funny. We really just don't use umbrellas. All right, you guys, the next weird thing about living in Phoenix, and this one is really important, is that we have a hobby of scorpion hunting. I know that sounds really crazy and really scary, but what you do is at nighttime, you take a black light, you go out back to your backyard fence, to your brick wall out there, and you run the black light over it. And if you find scorpions, well, some people get creative with how they want to get rid of them so that they don't come into the house and bite them or bite their dogs or bite their animals. So yes, someone actually, my friend like two days ago posted, who wants to go scorpion hunting tonight? Just found one in my kitchen. And that's what they do. People go to their house and they scorpion hunt late at night. I know it sounds really crazy. Apparently people don't do it in other parts of the US. All right, you guys, the very last thing that people who are moving or relocating to Phoenix find so weird about us Phoenicians. And this comes up with me very often. I do a ton of relocations. And just like two weeks ago, I, I had this conversation and we kept laughing with one of my current buyers who are amazing. We laugh because to be deemed a historic home out here in Phoenix, it pretty much only has to be over 50 years old. So yes, there are homes from the 1950s and 1960s that are historic homes out here in Phoenix. And I know in other parts of the U.S., that's probably considered like a new build. You know, obviously they have a lot more history and culture than the greater Phoenix area does. So anyhow, just something that people find almost hilarious, what we consider historic compared to other parts of the nation. I'm Andrea Sheppy, a Phoenix native and a full-time award-winning realtor out here in the greater Phoenix area. If you're thinking of purchasing a home in the greater Phoenix area or relocating to Arizona, or you live here and you're thinking of buying or selling your property, I would love to help you. I take great pride in my work. I really, really love real estate. I'm in this all day, every day. So definitely reach out to me, call, text, email, whatever works for you. Find me on social media. I would be more than happy to chat the market with you and be your guide in our real estate market. Leave our eyes in the sky.